purpose behind any gathering. If it's mainly a case that we just head count and say, MashaAllah, there was, it was a good gathering. Then that is where we're failing. Malki reminds me one time as well, and I mentioned this with a great memory, SubhanAllah, Rahimahullah, my grandfather's brother, which had a good guy, very simple guy. Anyone know where Thana Chontra? Who's heard of Chontra here? Chontra, who's heard of Chontra? Chontra, GT Road, Jhelum. Chalo, okay, mashaAllah. Today, who's heard of GT Road? Alright, chalo, okay, mashaAllah. Some people are aware. Anyway, so you know the mizaj. That's why I've got to clarify because it was... Anyway. Khair. So I was basically, I remember going to a local masjid and he said to me, Nini, we're going to go to this local masjid, inshallah, gal badi soni you'll see, it'll be great takreer, and Mawlvi sahab, mashallah, will come. And so I said, okay, TK, I'm not into all this katak and matak and all these ash'ar, and I'm just straightforward, simple giza, I like the simple, straightforward stuff. Khair, we went to this masjid, mashallah, and from start till finish, right, this, <laughs> this guy, it was a, a program on Sira, but I just... I just couldn't understand what the whole maqsad was from start till finish. It was he was just shouting and screaming and at the end of the at the end of the program, I said to my grandfather's brother, he goes to me, and I said to him, and I'll, for those who don't understand Punjabi, I'll translate. He goes, did you did you like the program? And I said, Abadi me alevi sort and I take a galki or easy. Like what was the person talking about? He goes, Opadur ma ni pa the gal bari thoni si. Like this is his jawab, exactly this. And I'm replaying what he said. And I'm sorry if you don't understand. By the way, just for you to clarify, I'm not I'm half English as well, so I'm gonna stay true to my English roots, but it's just that he spoke it in the Punjabi language and it was it was so much like connecting at the time I just remember those words and they were just imprinted in my mind. So I said to him, like, what, what, what was he talking about? I mean, you were saying, mashallah, there'll be a great taqreer, taqreer. You know, they, they make this thing, taqreer, or see, taqreer. So I was like, okay, let's go. And when I'm exposed to this thing, he's just shouting and screaming. I can't understand the tana to the bana, the left to the right. I can't understand what's going on. So I asked him, he goes to me, oh, did you like the bayan? I was like, I'm still trying to figure out what it is. What did he speak about? He goes, I don't know, but it was a good bayan. <laughs> And this unfortunate, this mizaj, I'm, I'm highlighting because it, it came to my mind. I, I, it's not like I planned to mention that. It just popped in my mind. I thought it would only do justice if I share it. Otherwise, it'll linger in my mind. I might as well get it out. This, this notion, this kind of thinking which we've got, okay, mashallah, it was a good speech. It was good nats, good nasheed, good qiraat, good tilawat, good refreshments, good. But what, what is the maqsad? What is the purpose? What, what, what do we want to achieve from these gatherings? Is it just merely to gather for the sake of gathering? Is it just merely to sit past time, merry make what? I mean, what is the maqsad and purpose of gathering? And that is why we should have a maqsad and a motive in mind. And that's why I'm mentioning this from the very outset. So if we, we can clarify this in our minds, that any time we gather, this is the awwal purpose. Number one reason. I mentioned as well, like, look, until the day of Qiyamah, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's dhikr, his remembrance will be great barakah for us. Balki one shahid, he mentions really, really beautifully. He mentioned, مَا مَدَحْتُ مُحَمَّدٍ بِمَقَالَتِي وَلَكِنْ مَدَحْتُ مَقَالَتِي بِمُحَمَّدِي Wallahi, what a beautiful thing to say. He said, don't think that it is me praising the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam in my discourse. Rather, it is my discourse that is becoming beautified with the tazkirah and the remembrance of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Okay, when I mention his name, it's going to be attractive, it's going to be good, it's going to be nice, it's going to be flowing and brimming with khair. Not that I'm doing him anything, I can't already make him greater than he already is. And until Qiyamah, people will write and write and write and discourse and bayan and conversation and tathkira and khutabat and so on and it will remain until the day of Qiyamah.